Hi, I'm Steve Diggs and welcome back to Insights. Great content at the speed of light. In today's lightning round, I'm going to talk with you a little bit about what I call brand you. Let's talk about this a little bit. You know, businesses understand that if they are going to succeed, they have got to do everything based on their own strengths and their own weaknesses. For instance, Walmart, great company. Walmart sells jewelry. Now, if Walmart came on television bragging that they were selling the finest jewelry in America, we would all know that that's not right. Now, Walmart says sells good quality middle grade jewelry at a low price. That is their strength. That's what they do. On the other hand, a company like Saks Fifth Avenue, if they came on air saying, hey, we're selling the cheapest watches in North America, come on down and buy 12 for each arm, <laughs> we would know better. We'd know that they were telling something that was not truthful because Saks Fifth Avenue sells very high end, very exclusive and commensurately priced jewelry. This is their strength and they play to their strength. They do not play to their weakness. Now, a lot of us don't understand this. A lot of us tend to play to our weaknesses, wishing that they were our strengths. This is never a wise way to brand. You see, good branding always means that it is consistent. It is truth. It is told correctly and it is honorable with what it's saying about that brand. It all goes back to what I used to tell my clients was their look and their hook. Back in the advertising agency days, many, many, many times we would develop a company's look, their visual, their logo, and then we would develop a hook line, a memorable set of words, usually six or less, that said something that people could identify. Didn't say too much, but just enough to, hit wet, to whet people's appetites and help them begin to understand the story of the company. For instance, when you see this particular M, you don't think of L-M-N-O-P, right? Now this is a look, a logo that is one of the best known in the world. What are we thinking about? Yeah, McDonald's. Well, McDonald's, this is their look. What is their hook? Right now, their hook line is, I'm loving it. Well, what does that mean? That can mean anything it needs to to the individual who is hearing it. If you're a mother, you've got two kids in the back seat, you're rushing to Wednesday night prayer service, you can swing through there and get a bag of burgers, throw them back there and keep driving. Uh, if you've got a 13-year-old son, Every time his friends come over, they trash the house. But Saturday is his birthday. You don't want to do the birthday party at the house? You go down to McDonald's. You're loving it. Your wife is out of town. It's 10 o'clock at night. You're bored. You go down and get a cup of coffee and sit there and do some people watching. You're loving it. You see, this is great branding. It's truthful, it's on message, and it's consistent with the product. There's another company out there that you may have heard about. They call themselves the good hands people. Anybody know who I'm talking about? Yeah, Allstate. Of course, you miss a couple of payments and those good hands might just open up, and, but that's another thing. This is their consistent story. This is their image, you see. What we have to understand is that as individuals, we are in an ongoing project of building brand you. Everything you do is building your brand so you can more effectively communicate to the people that you love and that you lead. Again, the key here is to be consistent. Be the real deal. Don't pretend to be something that you're not. Simply speak truth. S truth is such a rare commodity these days. People who do it are people who are the most respected. I'm Steve Diggs. This has been Insights. Glad you were with us. Great content at the speed of Locked. See you next time.